Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's problem of the week asks you to evaluate the limit as t goes to infinity of this quantity here, which is t times ln of quantity 1 plus x over t. So it's important to note here that our dependence is on t, and our limit, we're evaluating the limit as t goes to infinity, not as x goes to infinity. x is just a constant in this case. So what we're going to do first is we're going to divide. because So if we try evaluating this right now, we're not really get, going to get ourselves anywhere because we're going to get infinity times um, 0, which is not defined. So we need to try to manipulate this expression such that we can evaluate the limit and have it be defined. So what we're going to do to start off is we're going to uh, re-express this here, this, quanti this interior quantity here that we're taking the limit of, as uh, ln. So rewrite the limit here. So limit. This is equal, limit as t goes to infinity of uh, ln 1 plus x over t all over 1 over t. OK, so we just re-expressed. This is just exactly the same thing, except instead of writing t times ln, I divided by 1 over t. So it's the same thing. So now, if we tried to evaluate the limit, we would get 0 over 0. But we know that now that we have something of this form, we can use L'Hopital's rule. So we can take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator with respect to t, and then we can evaluate the limit again. So we know that because of L'Hopital's rule, a little trick I learned in Calc 1, just to be clear what's going on here. Um, by L'Hopital's rule, we differentiate the numerator and the denominator. So this is going to be equal to the limit as t goes to infinity of d dt of the numerator, which is ln 1 plus x over t all over d dt of the denominator, d dt of quantity 1 over t. OK, so now we can go ahead and differentiate the numerator and then differentiate the denominator. So it's pretty straightforward. So OK, so we need to make sure, again, differentiating with respect to t here, not with respect to x. So when we differentiate this uh, quantity here, we're going to have to use a chain rule. So just off to the side here a little bit. Um, ln 1, 1 plus x over t, because we have our interior quantity here, which is dependent on t, um, a function here, which is dependent on t, we need to use uh, the chain rule. So we would differentiate the exterior function. So we differentiate ln of 1 plus x over t. Um, so that would just be something over uh, this contained quantity here, so 1 plus x over t. And then we need to differentiate the interior function here, so 1 plus x over t, the derivative of that with respect to t. Well, if it's not immediately clear to you, the 1 will go to 0. And x over t is equal to x times t, uh, x times t to the negative 1. So we differentiate that with respect to t. And we get negative x um, times t to the negative 2. So in the numerator, we're going to have negative x over t squared. OK, so that's going to be our numerator, that entire thing. That fraction is going to be the numerator of our larger fraction here. So limit as t goes to infinity of, OK, so negative x over t squared, just copying that down from over there, over uh, 1 plus x over t. And this is all over, so the, de the derivative of the denominator with respect to t, if you can't see, um, if it's not immediately clear to you. Uh, so 1 over t is equal to t to the negative 1. And the derivative of that with respect to t is negative t to the negative 2. So in the denominator, we're going to have um, negative 1 over t squared, because t to the negative 2 is equal to uh, 1 over t to the 2, so negative, so negative 1 over t squared. So that's what we're going to get in our denominator. So finally, we just can simplify this. We can simplify this by, um, multiplying, by multiplying this and making it just a single fraction instead of a fraction of composite fractions, so we multiply the denominator, so we multiply the entire thing by negative uh, t squared over 1, so that would cancel out the denominator. It's going to be equal to the limit as t goes to infinity. And we multiply the numerator, so we get in the numerator <coughs> uh, negative t squared times the numerator quantity here, which is negative, t, uh, negative x over t squared. And this is all over the denominator, which just stays the same as it is, which is 1 plus x over t. So this is equal to the limit as t goes to infinity. 
As we can see here, we have a negative t squared here in the numerator. In the numerator, this is t, negative t squared over 1. And then we have, a negative, uh, we have a negative t squared in the denominator, so we can cancel those things out. And all we're left with in the numerator is an x. And what we're left with in the denominator, just again staying the same, is going to be 1 plus x over t. OK. So finally, we evaluate the limit. So we evaluate the limit as t goes to infinity of this quantity here. So x over t as t goes to infinity is going to go to 0. Going to go to 0. So we're going to be left with limit as t goes to infinity of x, which is equal to x because x does not depend on t. So that is going to be the limit uh, as a result of this problem. And it was kind of by, by a kind of intuitive move here we made at the very beginning that allowed us to use L'Hopital's rule because we can't evaluate the limit just as that is right there. So we just kind of cleverly rewrote this as ln of 1 plus x over t all over 1 plus t, which is the exact same thing. Then we were allowed to use um, L'Hopital's rule. And then we do some kind of nasty simplification. We ended up just getting x. So our limit is just going to be equal to x in this case. So that's it for this week's problem of the week. So to see more of these problems, you can see our playlist here, problem of the week playlist here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click this link here. And to visit us at centerofmath.org, click this link here. Thank you for watching.